Uh, hi, uh, I'm Roger Young. I'm here just for uh, warming up for a concert. I uh, just wanted to take this opportunity to talk to you about The Last Waltz. Uh, we'll be playing um, Brahms Violin Concerto, uh, Daniel Hope, uh, amongst other works. Um, Farewell Symphony, which would be a nice way to say goodbye to the, to the hall until we return. Going to the town hall, I've always liked the town hall. Um, there's a sense of um, occasion at the town hall. At the moment you walk towards the town hall, it's a beautiful building, you've got the red carpet rising up, um, you had the Beatles standing, it was good enough for the Beatles, it's good enough for us. Um, it's a romantic venue, I, I just like the feel of the venue and I think as a musician um, it's a nice stage to play on. You, you seem to be surrounded by the audience a little bit more than, than here, so you feel closer to the audience, which is nice. You, it's good to see faces. Um, and acoustically, look, it's a different acoustic, um, and and that poses different challenges, um, certainly for soloists and conductors. But I mean, every hall, hall has you know those sorts of challenges. Um, and then I think just being in the city, I like to be in the city. There's a lot of great coffee shops, a lot of great places to eat. So it's fun. It's it's going to be nice um, on our time off when we're having lunch and just exploring. The opening of the Brahms is, is a great opening for any concerto, and and um, it's funny in the seconds in the second secondi, whenever there's a, a D major chord or, or anything that leads to that sort of cadence, we have a chap in the seconds who will always come out with the opening of the Brahms. So it's a very um, yeah. There's a lot of musical humour for <laughs> the second violins and the MSO <laughs> for the opening of that. Yeah, the, like the last movements, um, it's it's great. It's it's. It shows everything that a violinist <laughs> should be able to do. Um, it finishes kind of uh, quietly and, and almost abruptly, which is unusual. Um, it's not like, if you think of the classic ending of a concerto, it's certainly not um, Tchaikovsky. Um, but I think it's Brahms. I mean, Brahms is, there's, there's a huge amount of depth in Brahms' music. He probably doesn't go for the um, saccharine and sort of um, corny melodies that some might say Tchaikovsky does. Um, having said that, I love Tchaikovsky's melodies. Um, yeah, so I think on, on, on the program that will be really exciting to see any violinist perform the Brahms is worth seeing.